In mathematics, the Hardy-Littlewood circle method is a technique of analytic number theory. It is named for G. H. Hardy and J. E. Littlewood, who developed it in a series of papers on Waring's problem. History the initial idea is usually attributed to the work of Hardy with Srinivasa Ramanujan a few years earlier, in 1916 and 1917, on the asymptotics of the partition function. It was taken up by many other researchers, including Harold Davenport and I. M. Vinogradov, who modified the formulation slightly, without changing the broad lines. Hundreds of papers followed, and as of 2013, update, the method still yields results. The method is the subject of a monograph Vaughan by R. C. Vaughan. Outline. The goal is to prove asymptotic behavior of a series, to show that and tilde f for some function. This is done by taking the generating function of the series, then computing the residues about zero. Technically, the generating function is scaled to have radius of convergence 1, so it has singularities on the unit circle, thus one cannot take the contour integral over the unit circle. The circle method is specifically how to compute these residues by partitioning the circle into minor arcs and major arcs, and then bounding the behavior on the minor arcs. The key insight is that, in many cases of interest, the singularities occur at the roots of unity, and the significance of the singularities is in the order of the fairy sequence. Thus one can investigate the most significant singularities, and, if fortunate, compute the integrals. Set up the circle in question was initially the unit circle in the complex plane. Assuming the problem had first been formulated in the terms that for a sequence of complex numbers of n e equals 0, 1, 2, 3, we want some asymptotic information of the type n tilde f where we have some heuristic reason to guess the form taken by f. We write a power series generating function. The interesting cases are where f is then of radius of convergence equal to 1, and we suppose that the problem as posed has been modified to present this situation. Residues from that formulation, it follows directly from the residue theorem that for integers n0, where the integral is taken over the circle of radius r and centered at 0, for any r with 0 less than r less than 1. That is, this is a contour integral, with the contour being the circle described traversed once anti-clockwise. So far, this is relatively elementary. We would like to take r equals 1 directly, i.e., to use the unit circle contour. In the complex analysis formulation this is problematic, since the values of f are not in general defined there. Singularities on unit circle The problem addressed by the circle method is to force the issue of taking r equals 1. By a good understanding of the nature of the singularities f exhibits on the unit circle, the fundamental insight is the role played by the fairy sequence of rational numbers, or equivalently by the roots of unity here the denominator s. Assuming that r per second is in lowest terms, turns out to determine the relative importance of the singular behavior of typical f near zeta. Method The Hardy-Littlewood circle method, for the complex analytic formulation, can then be thus expressed. The contributions to the evaluation of in, as r1, should be treated in two ways, traditionally called major arcs and minor arcs. We divide the zeta into two classes, according to whether s n, or s greater than n, where n is a function of n that is ours to choose conveniently. The integral in is divided up into integrals each on some arc of the circle that is adjacent to zeta, of length a function of s. The arcs make up the whole circle, the sum of the integrals over the major arcs is to make up 2 pi if. The sum of the integrals over the minor arcs is to be replaced by an upper bound, smaller in order than f. Discussion. Stated baldly like this, it is not at all clear that this can be made to work. The insights involved are quite deep. One clear source is the theory of theta functions. 
Warring's problem in the context of Warring's problem. Powers of theta functions are the generating functions for sums of squares. Disambiguation needed. Their analytic behavior is known in much more accurate detail than for the cubes. For example, it is the case, as the false color diagram indicates, that for a theta function the most important point on the boundary circle is at z equals 1, followed by z equals minus 1, and then the two complex cube roots of unity at 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock. After that it is the fourth roots of unity i and minus i that matter most. While nothing in this guarantees that the analytical method will work, it does explain the rationale of using a fairy series type criterion on roots of unity. In the case of Waring's problem, one takes a sufficiently high power of the generating function to force the situation in which the singularities, organized into the so-called singular series, predominate. The less wasteful the estimates used on the rest, the finer the results. As Brian Birch has put it, the method is inherently wasteful. That does not apply to the case of the partition function, which signaled the possibility that in a favorable situation the losses from estimates could be controlled. Vinogradov trigonometric sums later. M. Vinogradov extended the technique, replacing the exponential sum formulation f with a finite Fourier series so that the relevant integral in is a Fourier coefficient. Vinogradov applied finite sums to Waring's problem in 1926, and the general trigonometric sum method became known as the circle method of Hardy, Littlewood and Ramanujan, in the form of Vinogradov's trigonometric sums. Essentially all this does is to discard the whole tail of the generating function, allowing the business of R in the limiting operation to be set directly to the value 1. Applications Refinements of the method have allowed results to be proved about the solutions of homogeneous Diophantine equations. As long as the number of variables k is large relative to the degree d, this turns out to be a contribution to the Hasse principle, capable of yielding quantitative information. If d is fixed and k is small, other methods are required, and indeed the Hasse principle tends to fail. Rademacher's contour. In the special case when the circle method is applied to find the coefficients of a modular form of negative weight, Hans Rademacher found a modification of the contour that makes the series arising from the circle method converge to the exact result. To describe his contour, it is convenient to replace the unit circle by the upper half plane, by making the substitution z equals exp, so that the contour integral becomes an integral from tau equals i to tau equals 1 plus i. Rademacher's contour is given by the boundaries of all the Ford circles from 0 to 1, as shown in the diagram. The replacement of the line from i to 1 plus i by the boundaries of these circles is a non-trivial limiting process, which can be justified for modular forms that have negative weight, and with more care can also be justified for non-constant terms for the case of weight 0.